What is a system? The logical context view. What is logical? What it does. And what is context? What it interacts with. And what is a view? A way of looking at and understanding it simply. What's outside of the system of interest? The universe. What's outside of the hammer system? Wood, walls, nails, and people. When we talk about what a system does, we usually talk about system inputs, system outputs, and processing. The processing can transform the things that come in and the things that go out. They can transform data, energy, and materials. What kind of transformation does a hammer do? Its input is a person's force. A person puts in kinetic energy. The hammer does what? Well, the hammer gives kinetic energy to the nail and whoosh! It makes the nail go into the hole. It absorbs the energy from the person pretty slowly and then suddenly releases it into the nail. So it's a kinetic energy capacitor. A hammer actually has more than one function a energy capacitor function. It can also remove nails. It doesn't act as a capacitor there. It's acting as a pure lever. Also, to absorb some of the impact or reduce the impact that goes into the person's hand. Energy capacitor, impact absorber, removal lever. It's doing those three things. And there's all sorts of flows in and out that are related to those things. Taking the kinetic energy from the person, giving that to the nail, acting as a capacitor, taking the impact force from that capacitor function, and it's resisting that so that there's only a smaller impact force that's going to the person. But also when it's actually as a straight lever, it takes the force from the person and it gives the force to the nail. What we've got here is a pretty complicated drawing and we're just talking about a hammer. One way of doing it simply is to draw these separate little function bubbles. A function is usually something we say is a verb and then a noun and like amplify force or dampen force. And the function has its own flows that are separate to the other functions that the system might have. So it allows us to draw it a little bit simpler. A person is putting either insertion force in place or removal force. That force is being amplified for an insertion force or removal force to the nail. The hammer is also resisting the impact force. So by separating out these functions of the system, it helps us to draw the hammer a lot more simply. And by keeping the functions name simple and the flow name simple, it helps us to avoid going into too much detail and helps to keep what we're actually describing a little bit understandable. If you've been paying attention, you have learned that engineered systems are a part of a larger universe, that things systems do are called functions that functions take input, perform processing, and produce output, and functions are usually named with a verb followed by a noun. Flow diagrams are one technique for keeping track of functions and flows. Next time, we'll ask what is a system? The physical breakdown view. What is physical? What it is. And what is breakdown? What its parts are. And what is a view? A way of looking at and understanding it simply. If you like Miss Seven's contribution to this video, you might want to check out our sister channel, Fuzzy BSC Kids. What can they find there? They can find some Jenga box constructions and a lot of my bedtime things when I was so we've got all sorts of things that Miss Seven has done in the past and she likes to do. So rate, comment and subscribe. Bye. Bye bye.